video we will talk about call by value and call by reference in golang so these are the different methods call by value and call by reference that are being used to pass an argument while calling the function there is a program where we are passing the arguments by using call by value method so in call by value we are copying the value from an arguments to the actual parameters now what is argument and actual parameters values we are declaring while calling the function are arguments and the values we are mentioning in the function declaration are the actual parameters so in call by value method we are copying the value of a and b into this actual parameters a and b now here i have taken two variables a and b that is of integer type and a contains value 10 and b contains value 20 here i am going to print the initial value of a and b now i am calling the function swap values and passing the arguments using call by value method what it will do it will call the function here swap values and copies the values 10 and 20 here in a and b now in this statement i am just swapping the values a and b and what it will do it will store the value of b to a and the value that we had in a variable it will get stored in b so before swapping if we have the values 10 and 20 now after swapping the values we would be getting are 20 and 10 a is 20 and b is 10 so this is the purpose of this function now what i am doing here after swapping i am again printing the value of a and b now here we can see that we have changed the values of a and b within this function but it won't reflect in this main function the main function will have the same values of a and b that it had previously 10 and 20 because here we are passing the arguments by using call by value let's run the code and check how it's going So here we can see the initial value is within the main function we have 10 and 20 and now after swapping values are 20 and 10. So values get swapped within function. Now when we come back to the main function and check the values of a and b then we can see here that it is just as we had previously 10 and 20. So it changed the value within function only. It doesn't change the values of a and b as a whole. Coming to call by reference method, so here instead of sharing the value, we are sharing the address while calling the function. Here we are calling the function and instead of sharing the value, we are sharing the address. And how we are accessing this address? By using this ampersand sign. Call by reference is closely related to the pointers. So if you don't know about the pointers, then there is a link in description. Data types in Go, please go through once. So when we share the address while calling the function, this address is being copied to here actual parameters. Now as we are sharing the address while calling the function, the data type of the actual parameters would not be integer but they would be of type pointers that will contain an integer value. So these variables will contain the address of A and B. Now to access the values of address A and B, we are using this asterisk operator and swapping the values in the same way as we will be doing in previous call by value method. Asterisk B is used to get the value from the address that is being stored in B and asterisk A is used to get the value from the address that is being stored in variable A. Now it will access the value from B and A and will get copied to A and B. Now after swapping the value, our values will be 20 and 10, A as 20 and B as 10 that we will be doing earlier. But the difference is here we are making the changes to that memory address directly. And that the same address is being used here also. So the values will get reflected to the main function also. If we run the code, the initial values were 10 and 20. And after swapping, value within functions are value of a is 20 and value of b is 10. Now, now when we come back to the main function because we have made the changes to the memory address directly it will get changed in main function also. Now we have value of a is 20 and then that was earlier 10 and 20. So this is the difference between 
call by value and call by reference in call by value we are not making the changes in that address but in call by reference we are making the changes in memory address directly in next video we'll discuss about closers in go